Continuing coverage now on a bill that would put federal body armor restrictions in place tied to the racist mass shooting at Tops, and that proposed legislation will get a second chance in Congress this year. Now, the bill is named after the hero security guard and former Buffalo police officer who tried to stop the gunman that day, only to have his bullet stopped by the shooter's body armor. Tonya Size Rob Hackford joins us now from the newsroom with more on this new push. Rob? Yeah, Scott Mary Ellis, the goal of the Aaron Salter Jr. Responsible Body Armor Possession Act is to restrict what types of body armor can be sold to the general public. The gunman who killed 10 innocent people in the racist field attack at Tops last summer was wearing enhanced or level four body armor, which protected him from security guard Aaron Salter Jr., who tried to stop him, shot at him, but died doing so. Body armor is ranked on a scale from level 2A to 4. The bill would restrict the public from owning or purchasing body armor that is level 3 or greater, with exceptions for military, law enforcement, and security members. Now, soon after the top shooting, New York State passed its own law restricting body armor, unless you fall under those same professions, but there is nothing stopping someone from purchasing level 3 or 4 body armor in another state and then bringing it into New York. If not for that body armor, Aaron Salter, uh, working as a security guard in the tops, would have been able to stop that individual from committing mass murder. This is uh, an effort that you, you just have to persist. And the more information that becomes available, the more clear it is that these are very rational, common sense approaches toward the goal of not bringing those who were killed back, because that won't happen, but preventing this from happening again. Now, Congressman Brian Higgins there is a sponsor on this bill. It would not affect high-level body armor that someone already owns and would still allow level 2A, 2, and type 3A vests. Now, during the last session of Congress, this bill was referred to committee, but did not move any further. Higgins and several of the victim's family members who we heard from today hope it does go further this time. On your side, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.